Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your Outlook for March 13th, 2018. For your Tuesday, very powerful coastal storm uh, is going to be well offshore, not affecting us directly. Maybe bringing fringe impacts to the very far eastern parts of New Jersey, and that would be Monroe and Ocean County. Or excuse me, not Monroe, uh, Monmouth. <laughs> Monroe is in Pennsylvania. Mon Mon Monmouth and Ocean County in a far eastern New Jersey would be the only areas that we would expect to see any effects from the coastal in our area. This actually, the precipitation that fell overnight and uh, very early this morning is actually part of a trough that was sitting out here like this, uh, it's extending to the northwest side of this low. The low pressure center is way offshore, not affecting here. This is going to drill southeastern New England all the way up into Maine. This area here is going to get clobbered. Okay, but we are not getting that. So this is moving away this morning. And uh, moving to the next frame here, you can see as we get uh, uh, later in the morning here, you can see blizzard conditions here taking place here near near the Cape here in Boston. That's going to move up here into uh, into uh, Maine after that point. Just some leftover snow showers this morning from uh, mainly across New Jersey and far northeastern Pennsylvania. And uh, that's it. Let's go over the name high res future simulator radar. I'm going to show this off at 7 a.m. And here's here we have the residual snow showers still moving through. And that's going to move out by mid to late morning. And you can see that here. So those exit and they're out of the way. And then the rest of the day, we should just remaining uh, cloudy or mostly cloudy. Okay, so maybe a few snow showers across the far northern tier moving through, but not a real big deal. We're going to come back to this in a little bit to the name high res future simulator radar uh, because we have something else to discuss. But uh, this, this is going to move up into Maine, like we said, and it's actually going to retrograde to the west after it hits the Nova Scotia uh, area. And uh, once we get into Wednesday, we're going to get some wraparound lake effect snow showers. You can see that uh, flow coming off the lakes. Here's your low up here. It's up near uh, uh, Nova Scotia and just east of Maine. Uh, you can see the flow of the direction of the isobars are like this. This is a northwest flow off the lakes. So Lakes Erie and Ontario will set up the lake effect snow machine. And uh, we will get snow lake effect snow showers and snow squalls on Wednesday. So here is a look at Wednesday morning. And then Wednesday afternoon, that shifts a little bit farther east, mainly coming off of Lake Ontario here, not Lake Erie. But either way, we're going to get some snow showers, snow streamers are going to move downwind across northeastern Pennsylvania. We'll make it down into uh, east central PA, northern New Jersey, and uh, maybe as far south as southeast PA and central Jersey. We'll see. I don't know about uh, snow squalls there, but a heavier squall. If you're not familiar with the term, snow squall means uh, you have blinding rates of snow that will go on for about 15 to 30 minutes uh, where you're getting some very intense rates of snowfall that reduce visibility, can cause accidents. So you got to be careful that uh, when you get, if you get stuck under one of those, probably best best to pull over to the side of the road and wait it out. Uh, but you can pick a quick pick up a quick coating to an inch or maybe even two with some of the most robust snow squalls. So not out of the realm of possibility here on uh on Wednesday, and uh, this is the look on Wednesday. Uh, you can see this is early afternoon. You can see the snow squall, snow showers sending up here, just starting over northeastern Pennsylvania, back here in central PA as well. Uh, look at the next frame here in, in northeast PA. You can see these are going down pretty far to the south. Now I'm going to go all. It's going to go all the way down to southeast PA, central PA, and now these are just streaming in here. The heaviest concentration of that is going to be up here in these areas, up here. Uh, but these, you can still get some uh, residual. Uh, so when these start coming down here from northwest to southeast, you can get the residual of those uh, of those bands, those snow squall bands, make it all the way into southeast PA and central New Jersey. So we're going to watch this very closely, uh, and this will go on uh, straight through the evening. It's going to get all, uh, I would say, snow squall threat is probably down to I-78 or so, uh, but then we have the snow showers threat, not quite as robust further south and east. We're going to re-examine this uh, once we get to... Uh, uh, we're going to re-examine this in the next 24 hours just to see if we need to send alerts for that kind of thing because it's going to be some pretty intense snow squalls. I think a little bit more impressive than what we saw last Friday. Remember that? We had a lot of uh, a couple snow showers and flurries, maybe a few heavier squalls. Uh, we might have a repeat of that, uh, but a little bit more widespread this time, if that makes any sense. Okay, so going forward from this, uh, we're going to get the system out of here finally. Uh, Thursday is going to start to moderate in temperatures a little bit. And then we're going to go right back down here on Friday. Friday, Saturday are going to be chillier than average days. Uh, we have a system that's going to be moving off to our south. It's going to stay there. Very weak. Not a big deal. And then uh, once we get to Sunday and Monday, we're going to start turning winds here from the west. Uh, get more zonal, mostly sunny, 
and uh, temperatures are going to be well up into the 50s, we think, for both uh, for both Sunday and Monday. Once we get into Tuesday of next week, we're going to have to watch this system right here. Uh, tricky little bugger here. This is uh, showing a lot of different scenarios with this. It might not get rid of our snow chances completely. This is going to go out to about the 20th here. And uh, we have a cold front that's uh, situated like this. And uh, this is going to kind of just traverse that and head off to the south. Uh, there could be some overrunning precipitation north of there. It could be bringing in an interior snowfall. We have to keep a very close eye on this. I know we were looking at maybe the, this being the last chance for, for any kind of snowfall. Uh, as long as it's going to be colder than average, the snow chances are going to remain. So even though we are getting a little bit milder, daytime highs are getting warmer as we're going along. As long as we have below average temperatures, we can't completely eliminate the threat for snow. All right, so we're going to keep an eye on these systems. No guarantees here, but we're going to watch the system around the 20th and see what that does. Uh, might bring a little bit of snow to our region uh, if a few models that are looking out that far are correct. We'll be re examine that as we get forward in time. I'm Mr. PA with Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for March 13th, 2018. Have a great Tuesday.